Friendship Village. So good to be with you today. Thanks for joining us for these encouraging words together. This week here at Friendship Village, we are celebrating St. Patrick's Day. We've been doing something a little bit all week. And I know that uh, at the beginning of the week, I even sang a couple of Irish songs with my guitar for our morning coffee hour. It's a wonderful reason to come together as we celebrate not just the life of St. Patrick, who we believe died on this day back in the 400s, but the spread of Christianity to Ireland and ultimately through Ireland to much of Europe. There's a lot to be thankful for there today. And so as I'm making this video, you can guess what I forgot. I forgot to wear my green today. What a shame. Shame on me. I should have worn my green. I do, however, have my little Irish hat there today. Look at that. The clover, the colors of the Irish flag. And uh, does that make me look Irish? Or does that just make me look ridiculous? I think maybe, maybe the latter. I want to tie in a little bit of Irish history today to our scripture verse, but let me share the verse with all of us there first. It comes to us from Psalm 36 today in verse 9. Listen to what the psalmist has to say to us all. Speaking of the Lord, the psalmist writes, For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Let me say it again. For with you is the fountain of life. In other words, my source, that, that which gives me vitality and purpose and, and meaning, that's found only in the Lord. And then in your light we see light. You know, our ability to see depends on uh, upon an external light source. We don't generate light. We need light to come to us. And so, for example, the sun gives light to the earth, but it not only lights us up, it gives us the means by which we can clearly see everything else around us. That's what the presence of the Lord does. It gives us right perspective. It gives us the ability to understand and see what we see around us absence of the Lord, or trying to do things apart from Him, trying to maybe have a different source of inspiration or hope other than Father God, leads to a distorted view and a shifted perspective. In His light, the fact that He is light, gives us then the ability to truly see with clarity. It's why we need Him. Well, how does that connect to anything from Irish history? Well, this week we celebrate the life of St. Patrick, but there are many other Christian saints that uh, we become aware of that, uh, that come from Ireland. One in particular lived about 100 years after the time of St. Patrick. We refer to him as St. Dallin. And uh, Dallin was greatly instrumental in the increased spread of Christianity across Ireland. He, helped to, he, came, he was not a priest himself. But he was greatly devoted to the Lord, and he came alongside many clergy to help establish and build physical churches in village after village all throughout Ireland. And, uh, and because of his service and because of his poetry, he was quite a writer, um, and because of his influence in bringing the message of redemption to the Irish people, the Catholic Church went on to declare him one of their saints, St. Dallin. But the reason I mention him today is, is for two other, uh, two other reasons. One is his ancient Irish writings provide the text for which we get the modern hymn today called Be Thou My Vision. And uh, it, is set, uh, it, was, it is set in the early 1900s to the tune of uh, a traditional Irish folk ballad. But the lyrics go all the way back to St. Dallin in the, um, in the 6th century. And they are powerful and heartfelt. And in just that opening verse, you might, might remember the song. Um, it, it, uh, it comes to us, St. Dallin writes, Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me, save that thou art. In other words, the only thing that matters is you. And then he says, Thou my best thought, by day or by night, waking or sleeping, thy presence, my light. He's calling on Christ to be his vision, calling on the presence of the Lord to be that which illumines his way. 
Well, that's a poetic thought, and we can appreciate that. But what makes that all the more powerful is the second facet of St. Dallin's life. He was blind. He could not see. And though he went on to be very successful in business in terms of building churches and, and getting um, you know community centers started, he, uh, he, out of his great devotion from the Lord, became greatly known for that. But the fact that he was blind, in fact... Dallin is, um, is, is a nickname. It really just means little blind one. So the little blind saint is how technically what, what his name means as we call him Saint Dallin. And so here he writes as a blind man calling on Christ, be my vision. Let your presence, whether I'm awake or whether I'm asleep, whether my eyes are open or closed, it doesn't matter. From one aspect in my life, that's all the same. It's nothing but blackness, but there or, or, or darkness. But but there, Lord, your presence is what gives me light. And in His example, and in the words of His fantastic hymn, we remember that it's Christ that gives us vision. Most of us can see, but do most of us have vision? Do we have a sense of direction and clarity and trust? And even when life seems confusing and we have trouble finding our way, is it the light of Christ in our life that gives us stability and focus and hope? As the psalmist says, in your light, we see light. It's because of him that we have the ability to focus and understand and have a sense of peace and hope and direction. It's my prayer today that you would experience the light of the Lord, that that uh, this week would give us a special opportunity to draw close to him and turn to him and to invite the Lord to show us what is so good about his presence in his life. As we read his word, as we come to him in prayer, as we ask for him to lead us through various um, ways that he speaks to us throughout all the day, that we would, by his presence, have a sense of clarity, purpose, and meaning. That he would be our vision. And so with that challenge and with that opportunity, let's come before the Lord in prayer today. Heavenly Father, we reach out to you in prayer, trusting you to be our light. Lord, the scripture is replete with examples of light, and it even tells us that you, God, in one sense, are light. You come to illumine our hearts. You come to lead us. Your word is a light to our pathway, a lamp to our feet. It's only because of your life shining in and through us that we have the ability to really see and understand and interact with one another with a sense of purpose and clarity. Come be our light today. May we take inspiration from your word, looking to you to be our light, and from the story of a little blind monk who loved you with all his heart and whom you used to continue to bring transformation all across the nation of Ireland. Work that in us. Be our peace, our hope. Give us purpose and meaning as we put our trust in you. Thank you for hearing our prayer today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us today and happy St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if you'll see this video actually on St. Patrick's Day or not, but it'll be close. And uh, I hope you've had a, a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. Here at Friendship Village, we're doing our best to show you these videos three times a day. They're brand new at 4.30. They repeat at 8 o'clock at night and then once again at 8 o'clock in the morning. However, you can always find them on YouTube. Someone asked me once again, so how do we do that? Well, you can go to YouTube.com and in the search bar, type in Encouraging Words with Burt Campbell You'll get to all of our videos just that way. But really, you could do that from any search engine. You could go to Google, type in Encouraging Words with Burke Campbell. You'll get a whole list of videos that are there. You can click on any one of them. Uh, but they're there to be found. May they all enrich and encourage you as uh, you have opportunity to listen and to interact. Thanks for being with us today. God bless all of you, and we will see you next time.